Hey, what's up? This is Ryan, and I'm here with Amber and her hair. Um, hey, what's up? This is Ryan Hoover with Fit to Fight, and this is your Fit to Fight fix. <laughs> We're gonna look at a quick series. Um, it's a, it's a kind of a chaining technique uh, uh, together for takedowns. Um, I try to teach this way because this is the way that I try to, to, to fight. Um, I'm constantly hunting for the next thing. Um, getting in this mindset where you, you, you become dogged about hitting a, one thing kind of gets you stuck. So I like to start off of something that's, that's a little bit real, a little bit realistic. So if, we're, if, if Amber and I are kind of biceps pummeling in here working like this, what I'm looking for is an opportunity to hit a drag. So the way I'm hitting this drag, we'll, we'll kind of cover that real fast. If, if she's really pummeling in, there's gonna be some push there. She's looking to control that space. So as that happens, as she starts to look to push, I'm gonna kind of chop that forearm and drag here, okay? Sometimes I'll make it uh, a step, sometimes not. Just depends on how much energy she's, she's giving me and how good my timing is on the drag. If I get the step here, boom, then that's the one that will attack first. So my inside leg is gonna step behind and kind of collapse down. The hand that was on the drag side, I'm probably go ahead and start chasing the underhook as I'm hitting the takedown. So, and again, it kind of depends on what I'm looking to do, but here, as I go to step and make this takedown, the arm that made the drag, I'm going ahead and trying to chase this underhook. That way, if a scramble uh, starts to happen from here. It's not going to be her scrambling to my back. I've already kind of shut that down here. All right. Now, if I don't get that that step, or she sees this coming, I go to step. She steps her way. Then I'm still attacking with the same leg, but I'm going to hit the leg that she she left. Okay. Kind of going calf to calf. It's just kind of a inside trip. So I go for the first one takes it away. I need to catch up, so I'm gonna step, step, here, calf to calf, I'm gonna look at the last. I might go again to this other side with that drag hand. She should sit straight to her butt off of this takedown. That's good. So from here, we're kind of working, boom, I go, I miss, I step behind, she should sit straight down. Now. If she sees that one coming, she's really good at defending my, my attempts. A step, I miss. A step again, I miss. I'm gonna drop straight down, hit low single. Uh, you can go head inside, head outside. There, there are different opinions. I think both work just fine. I, given my druthers, I like head outside. Um, We're gonna do a word of the day with Ryan Hoover. Let us know if you would watch that. Carry on. <laughs> it's not gonna be every day though. I don't wanna to talk to him that much. Oh, Let's pretend <laughs> that Amber defends my attempts. I'm gonna drop straight to my knees. I'm looking to get my shoulder just above her foot, right at the ankle. My hands, I'm gonna grab kind of cupping the heel and the Achilles. And I'm gonna pull the heel back to me and drive with my shoulder here. Okay, pick that up, pass, whatever. I like him to the outside just because if I fail, just stay here. If I fail and I don't hit the takedown, I can turn the corner and start working this way. Now, if I'm head on the inside and I'm not hitting, I can start dropping this way. So it's, it's I still have options. I just feel like keeping with kind of the outside elbow principle, I would rather have my head to the outside. You should be able to finish it either way. If so, you've never been low single, it's kind of crazy. It looks like nothing. I mean, you're literally just dropping down and grabbing behind my heel, like this small part of me. But there's like, I mean, there's like some back steps. It's super steps, hard no to defend. Fighting that. Like, um, just... And, you know, as a person doing the takedown, you're gonna feel super vulnerable at first because you're literally just like turtling <laughs> to the floor. 
Um, and there are some safety and training issues. I want to be careful not to, to uh, drive my shoulder to the knee. I need to be super low, A, to affect the takedown, but B, not to hurt my partner. Um, so right from jump from here, I'm literally just kind of dropping straight down to my knees and dropping. I tried to fight on that one. Another good way to get yourself hurt. <laughs> so, series, real fast. Make the drag, boom. Hit inside, same side. Make the drag, miss, hit inside, other side. Make the drag, miss one, miss two, hit low single. Don't get caught in them. Say you don't. Go drill it. 